Manchester City spent a lot of money on fullbacks this summer. By bringing in Danilo, Benjamin Mendy, and Kyle Walker, Pep Guardiola strengthened an area that Manchester City were weak in and secured players that are key to the style the Spanish manager wants to play. Guardiola's positional play requires dominance of possession to pull the opposition out of shape and create space, and fullbacks are crucial to this. Whether using a 3-1-4-2 or a 4-1-4-1, Guardiola expects his fullbacks or wingbacks to push forwards and play with energy and intelligence. Guardiola sees the pitch as a series of boxes, a more complex and specific division of space than the simpler and regularly referenced five vertical divisions of central, half, and wide spaces. The intention is that no more than two players should be aligned vertically in any one phase of play. Guardiola also likes to create two blocks in his team, five defending and five attacking. By inverting his fullbacks, essentially pushing them in field rather than creating overlapping runs outside, this becomes easier and facilitates the aim of positional play, which is to always have at least one player spare to make the retention of the ball easier and to create 1v1s out wide. Inverted fullbacks allow the attacking wide players to push higher without worrying about their defensive duties and create a series of triangle passing options when moving the ball out from the back, allowing the retention of the ball. This is one of the reasons that Pep wants a goalkeeper who is capable of passing well. The use of this square defensive formation with a deep dropping midfielder, usually Fernandinho for City, means that as long as the keeper is competent at passing, City can build an attack with quick passing from deep and switch the play as the centre-backs and full-backs split wider if pressured. Using inverted fullbacks in this way also creates a problem for the opposition, who must pull their own wide men in field to stop a total mismatch of numbers. This is done either by pushing central midfielders forwards, leaving a back four to mark five attacking players, but hopefully preventing the ball getting to them in the first instance, or by pulling the wide attacking midfielders in, which allows six players to defend but massively restricts their own opportunities to attack. It's very easy to see the influence of Marcelo Bielsa on Guardiola in this shape, the desire to ensure that there is one more central defender than striker, and the use of fullbacks or wingbacks who can stray into central areas to create space and numerical superiority. Guardiola has also used a 4-3-3 this season, although with his system, it's worth remembering that starting formations are essentially just that and his players are expected, like Bielsa's, to be able to fit into a fluid style and play myriad roles in build-up and defence. In the 4-3-3, the fullbacks are equally dynamic, often pushing very high. Against Bournemouth, it was noticeable how City had five players ahead of the ball, the widest of those being the fullbacks. This means that David Silva and Kevin De Bruyne, who is rapidly establishing himself both as a deeper lying playmaker and the best all-round creative midfielder in the league, can stay deeper and play defence splitting passes, while Fernandinho drops into the space around the centre-backs. The 5-5 five and five split is maintained because the fullbacks provide width as Bernardo Silva and Raheem Sterling drive inwards or directly forwards in support of Jesus or Aguero up front. Alternatively, one fullback can stay back and the other pushes up, which allows either Silva or De Bruyne to get forwards, maintaining the essential back three, two central midfielders and a five pushing ahead of the ball. This is why City's players, and fullbacks especially, must be comfortable in a variety of roles. If the basic five and five split is present, and no more than two players are occupying the same vertical space with ideally five players pushing ahead of the ball, then City are able to create overloads and maintain a defensive shape that should keep them reasonably well protected from counter-attacks. Add to this their ability to keep possession, and no side has a greater percentage of the ball over the last two seasons than Guardiola's men, you can see what Guardiola is trying to do and why the summer spending was necessary. Whether it will win him and City the league among a strong field of contenders remains to be seen. 
People often ask us where we get our stats for these videos. Uh, a great place to start is the OneFootball app. The app offers a fairly comprehensive statistical coverage of teams and players in game and post match. So there's a link in the description of this video if you'd like to download it. Thanks for watching.